All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this video out there is for a uh, um, Warbird fan. There, one of my good buddies here on uh, <clears throat> on YouTube. We got a lot of same taste in uh, aircraft here. We both uh, really like the same style of aircraft and like the scale looks. So uh, he was kind of curious about this plane. So uh, this video is kind of purpose built for him. But I hope you the rest of you guys enjoy. You'll get a lot of information out of this video. Um, what I'm going to do here, um, this may be a one-parter, two-parter, depending on how long it goes. I'm going to cover every detail on this Stuka made by Airfield um, and sold by Nitro Planes. Okay. Also, under the name of F F FMS, it's uh, other distributors. So, let's get into it, guys. First thing, um, this is the JU87 Stuka. This is not the B version. This is the regular Stuka. Um, very, I, th I believe it's a very, very cool plane. A lot of people think it's ugly. Um, actually, its name was Junker back in the day of uh, World War II. They thought it was just uh, just an ugly beast. Um, but just a little history on it. Uh, one of the things is said it was ugly, but it was one of the most feared planes to uh, have coming at you out of a dive bomb or something like that. Uh, the reason being is because it was extremely accurate with these cannons um, on the wings, very accurate. I got some footage, uh, World War II footage on my uh, on my page there. You can check out and see what I'm talking about. It's actual gun runs with the real Stuka during real war, uh, war time. So there are the guns there. The, the other reason, and this is what I'm trying to hunt down, is located right underneath here. Um, I, I would say it was probably about right there on the real Stuka. They had a very, very loud siren that made a very loud screaming sound when it went in a dive. A lot of people think it was the aerodynamics, the guns that made the sound. They actually had sirens mounted under the bottom when they went into a dive bomb. Um, these would drop uh, single, single bombs from the center of the plane, um, as well as multiple bombs and missile attachments on the wing loads. So let's get started on this model. Very scale. Um, airfield, I gotta say, I mean, you know, I buy nitro planes type stuff just to have fun with. Basically, you know, my big money goes into my big jets and stuff like that. That's where I dump my cash and uh, these are just kind of fun. But I'll tell you what, for the price you pay for this, you are not going to find a better plane. This this still just is just amazing, the quality went into this. Um, like I said, I got it for, I think... 150 while well, it was on sale during the whole holidays. I think it's like 180 now. Uh, still completely worth it, guys, for everything you get. So let's take a look at her, and I'll I'll give you the details and shut up about blabbing here. So first off, um, very scale. Um, we'll go from tip to nose here. Starts off with a good spinner, um, real good PVC hard spinner, uh, not one that's going to crack on you easy. Um, dead center bolt mounts onto a uh, metal hub in the middle and the blades mount onto the back plate and for if you've never seen this set up I went ahead and ordered extra blades I do with every plane from the internet just because usually to keep it the scale look you break those blades or you have to go to something else so here are the blades that it comes with guys okay you got two holes right there that bolt in screw into the hub now the screws they give you for these blades are sort of like a torque screw they are made to break under pressure that's why you'll see a lot of guys out there complaining that when they were trying to screw in their blades their screws kept breaking well i broke i think after i broke my fifth one i trashed them i went to the hardware store um they're simply number four uh they are not a metric thread not a thin thread they are a self-tap style thread number four um I believe around three quarters of an inch um, were perfect. Number four, three quarter screws, beautiful, worked great. Um, so I went with those. Now they're non break off, so when I come to a prop issue, I'll deal with it then. So that is the prop and the spinner there, okay, guys? A good three blade um, scale prop. Now, right here, I can't take it off, but I it comes off is right here how you get to your motor and your motor mount, okay? Real good, solid motor mount. Good solid motor running, uh, it's a four cell style motor running a 950 kV. This thing produces some punch, guys. A lot of power, a lot of power. Not fastest bird in the world, but boy, it's got some power to it. Um, all right, now you got your normal stack exhaust here. I'm gonna get my light on so you can make sure you see the details. Okay, normal stack exhaust there. And like I said, under the wing here, you got your cannons, very long cannons that mount up under the wing, fend off just like the. Uh, real stuka 
And one of the very cool things here is how they mounted these guys on this brace here. Because in flight, I'm going to fly with the cannons just because it looks awesome and this is not a speed demon. That's not why I bought it. It is a scale. But what's cool, guys? Click and off. Okay? There are your cannons off for safe flying if you're worried about large grass fields or anything like that. Or just playing aerodynamics, your cannons come right off and then... I'm not even holding the plane really guys, just kind of keep my hand on the wing and snaps right back in. And once it's in, it's in. Alright guys, so that's that. Um, guns are awesome. They look good, you build them up so you can paint them. I'm going to paint these out with, you know, obviously black and a little bit of airbrush silver blowback like they've been shot several times. Um, Alright, now we've got a uh, landing light pre-installed on the uh, left uh, wing leading edge. Now this is there and it is extremely bright. Unlike a lot of the dining kits out there where you can't even see the lights. You guys saw in my previous video when these lights are on you can see them. Um, I'll now keep it on the light subject. On the wing tips you have a light on each wing tip. It is in the correct formation. On the left wing they have the red light. On the right wing they have the green light. So uh, thumbs up there for getting those right. Um, Let's see, let's get into the cockpit a little bit. I ordered two cockpits with this guy, so I ordered a couple extra accessories because I kind of saw, from what I saw online, I really liked it and I knew that they'd probably run out of a lot of stuff pretty quick. I wanted one that was just going to be on the plane, stock, okay? And then I wanted another one that I could mount my cams in to get some cool onboard footage. So, this one is just my flyer, my stock flyer. Um, I actually did a decent job with the pilots. These guys, if I can get you a clear shot at him here. Let's see. Um, actually, is a war painted up pilot. Also has a backseat gunner. Um, now the backseat gunner is not quite the detail that the front guy is, but he's still a decent looking little gunner pilot there. You get your two guns coming off the back of the cockpit there. You get your antenna coming off there. These actually had one more antenna, but they didn't include that in the kit. Um, now the purpose of this antenna, if you really wanted to get scale, guys. And it's not an antenna at all, really. It's more of a brace. Was well, on the original Stukas, if you look at the pictures, they would have a cable running off to the tip of the elevators here. Now, that, might, that comes to the tip of the elevator. You'll notice it's got that bump right there, guys. See on the elevator? Okay, that was actually so that, that cable right there could run a cable all the way down to here and just give you more support on your elevator. But you also get the full guard here underneath. Get that light back on, okay? So after you install your elevator, you actually have a dug-in uh, brace on each side for your elevators. These things aren't going anywhere. Uh, very solid structure the way it goes together. That is probably the easiest part to goof up. As you'll notice, my wing is kind of, or my elevator is kind of shiny there. But that's epoxy because I got in a position where I had to work fast or I was gonna be in trouble. Didn't have it lined up right the first time, so uh, got her in there, everything went great, but uh, now I'm going to have to do a little bit of light, far away airbrushing to get rid of that shine. That was my only mess up on this bird. So, uh, continuing on, we've got the wingtip guns. Um, right now I'm just kind of covering scale stuff for you guys. Wingtip guns, um, decals are very, very accurate. Um, detail on the wings, there's the across there. Even close up here, and maybe... Uh, Maybe Warbird fan can uh, can straighten that out for me. I don't have a clue what it says, um, but you know German on the uh, actual decals. Decals German on the stickers. Um, here's another one for example, right in front of the engine cowl. Let me back that out a little bit. Okay, so there we go, right there. Very accurate. Uh, the yellow and yellow, very accurate to the real model, and the yellow stripe with the arrow up front, very accurate. You also got your decals here, and guys, these already come installed, um, so, I mean, there's no, you don't put these on. These are already on and ready to go, and they did a great job putting them on. So, what, do we, what else we got on scale? Um, now, there are a couple pieces I do not have on yet that are very scale. Right here, I'm, I'm getting ready to put these on today, is an actual full step that comes out and down for the pilot to get up onto the wing. The wing was a walking wing to get up into the cockpit. Okay guys, so there's a step that comes out for both sides. Um, what is one of the other small details I haven't put on yet? There's another piece I haven't put on yet guys, I forgot exactly what it is, but uh, um, that's one of them there. So uh, really cool. 
So that pretty much covers the details. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear some stuff up. Uh, thanks once again to uh, Warbird Fan um, for clearing this up for me. Now the swastika does not come on the plane. Okay guys, it comes in a bag and it comes in a bag separate by itself for you to put on whether you like it or not. Um, this isn't so much because it offends people. Now I know it does offend people. Trust me. I mean, I would be one of those guys that offends. Lost a uh, grandfather in World War II over Germany. And uh, another one was shot down was a prisoner of war for a long time. So, uh, you know, I don't like that symbol under any means. But it's on there because this plane is a scale plane. That's it. I'm not putting it on there to because I want to show it off or anything like that. But... I'm building this scale so that's why it's on there um, very interesting fact a lot of people say they didn't put it on there because they didn't want to offend anybody uh, Wilbur uh, wrote a little post on one of my previous uh, Stuka threads mentioning that um, really the main reason it's not on there is because if they put it on there he made a very good point they would actually have to produce two kits because I did not know this but in Germany um, and a lot of uh, and a lot of the European nations over there, it is illegal to actually have a swastika on a plastic model, let alone a flying RC model. So that was a that was a very interesting piece of knowledge. Um, I appreciate that. I had no clue about that. So uh, that's probably a good reason why they left it off for any of their you know overseas shippers or anything like that. So that's uh, that's pretty much on the scale side of it, guys even down to the scale tail wheel here okay very nice tail wheel now when you get the kit you'll notice that you'll get four of these tail wheels with the kit well what's that tell you yep that's gonna be the weakest part of the plane um, it is metal all the way down to here the bar but all this right here guys that's just plastic okay so if you're not good at setting down a warbird the tail dragger you're probably gonna go through a couple of those but luckily they gave you a bag full of them when uh, with the plane they also gave you a lot of extras guys there's a lot of bags in there marked freebie and they threw in a lot of control horns they threw in some back plates they threw in an extra prop uh, they threw in um, just a bunch of little extra things that could go wrong during the build or during a good little little tumble over or something like that so let's get into the bird now um, one of the questions uh, I had asked was the weight of the bird so let's get the scale going here guys and uh, Trying to think the units I use or I use grams for everything, and grams are really easy to convert. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at grams, guys. Okay, now this does have, I believe, no, it does not. I'm going to make sure I stick a four cell in there for you guys. Okay, let me grab a four cell, and I'm going to grab one of my larger four scales that I have. Let's see. Let's go with a uh, let's go with a big Sky Lipo 2650 four cell. And this is a 40 AEC burst. Okay. Um, this is a big, big 2650 from Nitro Planes. And remember, guys, the Sky Lipos have metal plates on the front and the back, so they're even more added weight. Okay. And excuse my wiring, it is a mess, but I'll show you that in a minute. That is the one thing that just shocked me when I got this plane. So let's see if I can one handedly get this battery in the compartment where it goes. There we go. This goes all the way up in there till it stops. Your speed control is also located up in there. But don't worry guys, this scoop in the front is not just for looks. As you can see, it is a scale scoop that goes up into your compartment, providing cooling right where your battery and speed control are. That is also where my BEC will be located. Um, so there we go guys. We'll get that in there. We'll get her pushed on and shut up so I can get you the uh, proper weight. Right, so here we go. We're gonna do it in grams, like I said. Make sure the scale is zeroed out. All right, zeroed out to zero grams. And we should come up to 18 something if I measured it last night. Okay, and I am not adding or pushing, I'm just simply supporting it. Okay, it's gonna bounce around, guys, simply because it's wanting to turn on me. Now, when I finally got it to a steady last night to where it wanted to quit moving around, and I got a solid steady reading for a while because I'm having a whole time holding it here guys you can see where it's bouncing I came with 1803 grams flight ready okay so 1803 grams flight ready uh, in my opinion kind of a heavy electric but 
and a lot of guys other opinions I've talked to not really so uh, and with the motor like I said guys at that weight which is just under four pounds uh, holding it vertical here uh, my wife throttling it up once hit full throttle um, with a 4s 2650 um, not it didn't want to drop it didn't want to hang it literally guys it wanted to pull straight up if I would have let go it would have hit the ceiling I mean that blew my mind because these blades on this thing are heavy blades guys the whole plane is a heavy plane it's running off of a 4s but that motor that is a heck of a motor in there producing great power so uh, that kind of covers the scale and the weight and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off here come back with a part two well we'll cover some of the really cool features such as the scale ailerons okay scale flaps all right and that whole setup there and then uh, I'm gonna review uh, Warbird's uh, email one more time and make sure I don't miss any particulars that he would like to see so I'll go ahead and cut this one off get it uploading and start working on part two and as this is posting up guys if you have any questions on this hit me up and I'll make sure I include them in the part two video um, I know one concern I've got a lot of questions about are the landing gear um, they're beautiful scale landing gear but the question I've gotten is are they strong uh, yes they are that's all I can say there but um, I'll have proof for you on the next video so stick around